Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video about privacy settings and we'll check out some interesting, there, you know, there's some changes in the Fall Creators update. Um, there are some things that, like I said, go back to the default levels. If you change some settings and the privacy options, go back and look at them because there could be something that's back to the default uh, that you had changed at another level. So here, let's go to the Feedback and Diagnostics panel because we're going to look at a few things in there. So first of all, it's in All Settings. You go into Privacy tab. And on the left side, go down to Feedback and Diagnostics. So here's the information that you have in this panel. And basically, we're going to start with the first part at the top here. Diagno diagnostics Data. How much data you send Microsoft? Now, that part has two options. Basic, which is just the data necessary to keep Windows up to date and secure. Full, to help fix things and improve Windows and Microsoft products, the browser, the apps, everything. And what is the difference in the amount of telemetry? It is huge. So. Basic is really the minimum, minimum amount of data that is required for Microsoft to just understand how Windows is behaving on a machine. The basic uh, telemetry never, never has personal data in it. It's purely to keep an eye on how Windows is behaving in the real world and knowing if there are some adjustments to make. So that's a lot of people choose that because, you know, really there's nothing you can snoop in on that one. Full is a little more complex. It's a lot more information. It's a lot more of your PC that's sending information because all the apps are sending data. Uh, Microsoft Edge will send data. And there will be a lot of data uh, taken from your PC when you actually are um, you have a crash for example this one although most of the time does not contain any personal data there's one time that technically it could happen and it comes from the fact that in the full diagnostics sometimes a snapshot of ram will be taken so your ram your random access memory is used when you're using your pc so when you have documents that are open, web pages, when you have personal data that is open in some software, typically, very often that data can be in RAM or in the memory at the moment you're using it. So if there's a snapshot taken at that moment, some personal info might actually be sent with the telemetry. Now, one of the things you got to understand is that whether you're at full or basic, this telemetry is sent out anonymously and encrypted. That means from you to Microsoft, encrypted, nobody can see what's in there. At Microsoft, anonymous. That means they don't really know from where it comes from. They just know it's a Windows 10 machine. And that's it. You know, at the most um, basic, they'll know that it comes from a Windows 10 machine that is a, a pro machine or a home machine, and that's it. They don't really know from where it comes from. It's anonymized, as they say. So whether you believe it or not, you know, that's up to you. But personally, I keep it full because I don't think Microsoft is doing anything with our data. And it's up to you if you feel that, you know, today too much snooping, big companies do too much uh, to look at our stuff. Uh, it just change it to basic, you know, and, and you'll still have telemetry. One word here, you cannot turn this off. That did annoy a little bit some of the privacy um, you know, uh, people out there that say, well, you should have an on-off switch. Um, maybe there should be an, an on-off switch. I don't know. Personally, I don't really care. As I said, I don't believe Microsoft does anything bad with it. But if you think there should, well, you can, you know, go to the feedback hub and say we should have an on-off switch for the feedback diagnostic data. So it's up to you to decide either you want to, you know, have full or basic information. I keep it at full. 
The uh, other thing you see here is let Microsoft provide more tailored experiences with relevant tips and recommendations by using your diagnostic data. That means um, it's something tailored with your Microsoft account. That means that with the feedback that they get, they might be able to recommend things. And this, I feel, is more like an ad because um, one of the examples that it will do is, for example, if you're using Google Chrome all the time, it might pop up a little notification saying, well, you know, you could use Microsoft Edge and, uh, well, you'd be, um, you know, it'd be faster and your battery on the laptop would last longer and blah, 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 you know, that kind of little thing. I keep that one off because it's like, don't annoy me with stuff, you know what I mean? We have Windows to work and to do things to be productive. We're not using Windows 10 to get ads and to get tips that are like, what I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, I don't, don't, don't ask me anything. Um, so this one I keep off. It's by default, it's at on. So check it out. And finally, feedback frequency. Windows should ask for my feedback. So you might have seen that happen. Uh, basically, little bubble pops up and says, oh, um, do you like Microsoft Edge? Would you like to rate it? Would you like to give us a little more details on what you think about it or what could be better? And so on. And it, it can do that with many, many uh, internal apps from Microsoft, like you know, the mail app, or just you know, using some settings. You could be opening the settings app, and at some point it's going to pop up, oh, what do you think of the settings? So these are feedbacks uh, that are actually popping up randomly from time to time uh, from your usage. So it has different options. It has automatically, which is a recommended one, always, once a day, once a week, or never. You don't want to be annoyed by any of those pop-ups. You just click never. That means you'll never be asked for feedback on something you're using in Windows 10. If you don't feel like sending feedback, it's quite all right. Just choose never. Or you can choose, well, once a week or once a day. I personally leave it at automatically, uh, which means that sometimes, you know, from time to time, I'll have a little pop-up and say, oh, um, by the way, you've used this option. What do you think? And, you know, personally, I keep it automatically because I always respond to those. Uh, you know, when it asked me, oh, would you, um, when did it, I think it's yesterday, it asked me, uh, oh, would you recommend Microsoft Edge as a browser to your friends? Well, I'll answer. I'll answer, you know, um, from from my own experience, what I think. And, and if yes or no, I would, you know, and, and, and so on. Um, I think it's something that could be interesting for them also. And it goes pretty much with the feedback hub, basically. So uh, this is all information that might be useful. But, you know, like I said, you can put never here and you'll never, never have any of that going on. And, of course, at the end is all the information. You can learn more about the feedback and diagnostic settings. It's going to uh, bring you to the Microsoft web page, explaining a little more what all of that is all about. And, um, you know, you can make up your own mind about what do I do with these uh this information. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you so much for following us on this channel.